Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2, uh, Clock Tower 2, Clock Tower. When we last left off, we had completed our first main scenario with uh, Jennifer. Uh, we were chased through the dorms, and well, somebody got murdered, but it wasn't us. Well, actually, technically we did get murdered a couple of times, I think. Uh, but that was last week. Who, who, who can even remember what happened? I certainly can't. But uh, we finished that scenario and we've managed to escape to the police station. Uh, we're having a little chat here with Gots. A uh, bit of an odd name, but we are in Norway, so I guess that's uh, par for the course. So let's continue. Uh, if it's going to let me continue. There we go. Look at that. And it would be great if my audio was actually uh, working correctly, you know. There we go. Much better. Just, you know, deafening. Uh, so, Gots, we haven't even solved the last case yet. And now, another mass murder. Certainly is Gots. Uh, and again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster. But it's true. I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissorman is back. That's a pretty boring headline. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now and rest. Yeah, sure. We've posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. Yes, yes. The ass in Assistant is uh, probably quite, uh, quite prominent here. Um, okay, so, I mean, we can't talk to Gots anymore, but we can talk to Helen. Jennifer. Helen, it's true. It was the scissor man. I know. I believe you, Jennifer. He's just being stubborn. Oh, Gots. I heard that, teach. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. <laughs> Yes. I like your attitude, Helen. That's the spirit. We can destroy this monster. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it obviously wasn't uh, Rebecca who killed... Rebecca? Jennifer that killed the uh, security guard. I mean, I don't think she has the power to wield a big axe or anything similar. Especially not scissors and to literally slice somebody's head off. Um, yeah. Yeah, she, she doesn't look like she's that kind. Anyway, let's continue. What should I do now? Well, uh, I'm not sure how we're going to be sleeping. So let's have a look at the newspaper stand or newspaper place. Yes, the Oslo Weekly newspaper. Uh, go have a little chat with them. I wonder what Nolan is doing. I think she's getting pretty interested in this Nolan character. Uh, this man is the cameraman who is with Nolan. Um, yes. There is a lot of noise in this uh, office building. It looks more like a reception kind of staff room, actually. But there's a heck of a lot of background noise here. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. So is Nolan here? Nolan? He just went to look for you. He's worried about you. Oh, is he? He should be back in a bit. But I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again. And if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds a little bit cloak and dagger, doesn't it? Just, you know, a little bit. Apparently we're hot stuff. I think Tim needs to be careful. Remember, she is 15 after all. 
Um, also, I would suspect that Tim probably doesn't want us hanging around there uh, because, you know, Scissorman might turn up to murder our faces. Just saying. Uh, let's go to the hotel, shall we? Norway Hotel. I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissorman. Maybe, Jennifer. Maybe. And I think it's coffee time. Bit of a stressful day. Um, should have... Um, well, I, I've finally managed to buy an Xbox Series X. Uh, not for me. It's for my partner. It's her birthday on the 19th. It should have been delivered today. The delivery didn't even happen. Doorbell didn't ring. But apparently I missed the delivery, even though I've been in all day. Can't really understand what the fuck happened with that. And now I'm waiting for my package to go to a UPS delivery uh, spot in your vicinity. And it's like, okay, well, I didn't even know we had any of those, but all right. Uh, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting we've got to push A to move these on. So we'll go to town and lug an Xbox home. Jennifer, I know there is no one here. All right. Well, uh, if... If if you knew nobody was there, then why did we go there? Ugh. Uh, where else could we go? Let's have a little think. University research building, I guess. I wonder if Helen is here. She may be. She might just be. One way to find out, I suppose. I <laughs> do. Look how thin her legs look, man. I mean, hey, look, right, I'm not here to body shame or anything like that, but Jesus. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower? Murder? Which one? Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Button had it. Hmm. And Professor Button was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man. Named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion on the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Calm down, Ryu. Anyway. I'll go see... Oh, God, that was a bit quick. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to the Scissor Man. Yes. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer? Yes? Who is Nolan? Ah, ahem. <laughs> well, I'd better run along now. Yeah, he's like some pedo that's a little bit too interested in a 15-year-old girl. If you ask me. Uh, anyway, uh, so where do we want to go now? I suppose if we're going to go see Nolan, that was at the Oslo uh, newspaper. Trashy magazines. Pff. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Nobody got mobile phones. I mean, I suppose this was, what, 2001? Hey, people had mobile phones back then. I lived through that time. I should know. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved in the clock tower case 
I was just going to interview him. Well, how convenient. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knows about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the Moida? Yes. I want every little clue relating to this case. Okay. Should I get the statue from him? Alright. I'll go see him and get it. Well. Do you want to ask Nolan? Now. Do we want to ask Nolan? Um. Ooh. So. Mm. I can't sure. I'm pretty sure we sent it to uh, Rick, didn't we? I can't remember now. I think we sent it to Rick. Um. Uh, right. I might have to look this up. To see how, because we're going to go for an A ranking. I'm pretty sure we say no. Can't remember now. No, no, no. We do want him to go, don't we? Yeah, we sent it to. Yeah, alright. I think I know. I think we say yes. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. Well, oh, it doesn't matter. If we have to rerun the game, we have to rerun the game. I'll go now then. Yes, I think you should. Yeah, we sent it here, didn't we? Because we didn't send it to the library. So, here we are. A very interestingly lit house. Yes, if you have any idea, please tell me. It's kind of hard to read these sometimes. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how. Yeah, see, sometimes the um, subtitles will pause and give you a bit of time to read them. Other times they just, you know, fly through. <coughs> how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrows? Castle. Ah, oh, the music. Barrow's Castle? Yes, it is a castle in England. Then before the Barrow's family moved, yes, that is what I have heard of 80 years ago. Well, I guess we can keep talking to him. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorised the local children. Just like Scissor Man. I had thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Then there is a way of defeating Scissor Man. I like... This part, I like the part, the game's basically trying to emphasize on how Scissorman is some unbeatable monster. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure us, the player, don't realize that. He just looks like a decrepit man walking around with a big pair of scissors. Doesn't seem that difficult to defeat. Also, we can lump the guy over the head with a, you know, a broom and take him out. So, is he really this big, mystical, invincible, demonic demon from beyond the moon? Uh, well, it's complicated. Although, not really. Do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is...
I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. Yeah, let's stand under so it. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Yes. Old times they were, except for. Uh oh. <laughs> I love that. Listen to the music. Oh, that music is fantastic. Uh oh. Looks like Mr. Scissorman is on his way to cut our gizzards out. Well, time we uh, get out of here, I suppose. Uh. Right, well, doesn't look like there's really anywhere to hide here. That's awkward. Uh. Oh! I guess we could just hide there, I suppose. And drink coffee whilst we wait. Yeah, piss off. Go on, get out of here. Find the horizon, my friend, and fuck off over it. Alright, so that's him gone for now. Let's start examining and searching this place, shall we? A garbage pail. Uh, yeah, that's really weird to call it a garbage pail. That's really strange. We call it a bin. What else have we got here? A microwave oven. There's something inside wrapped in foil. Uh, well, I guess he didn't have his last supper. Poor bastard. What else have we got here? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Not going to lie. Right, so what have we got here then? Looks like a vase for flowers. Yeah, I think if we fuck with this, weird voodoo happens. A wooden mask is on the wall. Something is written on it. This is the location of the Barrow's Castle. You have now confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. Excellent. Yeah, then shit gets a bit weird. So we can pick the vase up and chuck it at that. If we don't, we die. So if you was curious as to if there is actually mystical bullshit going on in this game, yes there is. A china cupboard of all the dishes. All the dishes are stacked neatly. Excellent. That voice acting for him though. Oh Jesus, just a trash can. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Um, why did you leave your dog outside? A guard dog outside. Surely it would be better to have the dog inside the house. Now, I'm just saying, you know, maybe he would have uh, chewed Scissorman's ass and saved you just a little bit of stress, you know, or maybe even saved your life. But hey, what do I know, I guess? Okay. Have a little look around, shall we? The bathroom sink. There is a toothbrush and other daily toiletries. All right. I can tell you. Some people don't use a toothbrush daily. I, I can tell you that. Hmm. Did he? Hmm. What memories? What? What memories of being on the shitter? Seriously? The throne? How many memories can you have? Sitting on the fucking toilet. Well, I don't judge, I guess. The shower. Yep. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, you're not wrong, Nolan. You're, you're definitely not wrong, dude. It is a shower. Y you are correct. Well, let's keep exploring. Right, ah. I remember there's some stuff that happens in here, I think. I don't think Scissorman is in here. What? In the washing machine? I assume that's the washing machine. Well, one would hope not. That'd be a little bit awkward. Oh, God, those sound effects. I Oh, we've got a bit of wood here that we could probably hang on. Let me mute my phone a second. We'll probably smack him over the brain. Does Scissor Man have a brain? I don't know. Uh Oh, one second, guys. Okay, guys. Right, and we're back. Uh, I just had to go down and pick up the Mrs. Xbox. Uh, it got delivered to a shop that wasn't actually that far away. So that was quite nice. Um, right. Let's continue, if it's going to let us continue. There we go. Okay, so, yes, we were in the utility room. I remember things about stuff now. Uh, a chest that is not used. It still looks fairly new. Oh, does it now? A chest? Okay. It's a fine-looking chest. Too bad it isn't being used. Yeah, what an absolute travesty that is. Terrible, terrible. There's some laundry inside. Now, there's actually something I'm trying to find. Maybe it's up here. There's some detergent and other cleaning supplies inside. This could be useful to blind someone or something. Now, what we're going to do here, guys, is... Okay, bit of... Uh weirdness going on there so uh we're actually going to save state here and we're going to continue because using this uh, soap powder that we've just acquired we can actually go get the worst ending in the game and you know why not do that whilst we're here for shits and giggles so if we go outside we now have the soap powder lel, and indeed it can be used to blind some one or something. You can see this rather grisly dog here. Arf. Here, take this. I always feel terrible doing that. Poor dog. We're going to run into the very flat looking woods here. Literally looks like cardboard cutouts. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue all leads have come to a dead end scissor man <laughs> that's a pretty cool ending i like it i like it yes sir i like it so yeah that is what can happen oh we get that awesome theme, actually. Rank E. 
Survivor unidentified. Jennifer's ending. Ouch. So, could we, like, save this then or something? Or something. Oh, it just saves it to the memory card. But we're not going to do that, obviously, because that's the easy way out. So, we've been in these two rooms. Uh, now, I wonder if we can use the powder. Actually, is that a door there? I wonder if we can use the powder to blind scissor man. I'm not sure. I've never tried that. Well, I may have tried that. You know, uh, I haven't played this game for about 680,000 years. Well, that, I a while, anyway. A good while. Um, well, there's our friend Rick, who has been totally eviscerated on the floor there. We're just going to gloss over that fact that he's just sitting there in a pile of his own blood. That's fine. Or should I say a puddle of his own blood? So, what have we got here? Any little trinkets or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. So we can try the front door, but I've got a feeling uh, Mr. Scissor Man has... Yeah, it won't open. He's locked the door. Is he trying to lock me in? Uh, yeah, I guess he is. The power is out. This is a very clever demon. We'll just say that much. Alright, so we still haven't found this statue that we require. Hmm, let's keep opening doors. We're going to take a very Resident Evil kind of uh, stance on this game. Open all of the doors and search all of the things. Oh! Now, why would Scissor Man be doing that? Oof. Oof. The way that music kicks in. Oh, man. It's got to be said, the way that music just kicks in, it's absolutely fantastic. It's so, like, panic-inducing. This game, man. This game. <laughs> Come here, you little bastard. Oh, we got you this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Oh, they don't make them like this anymore, do they? Thank fuck for that. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Defeated with a bed sheet. Defeated with a bed sheet. Love it. Okay, let's see. Let's just keep uh, exploring. A flower vase. Yes, indeed. There's something cool about just coming in here and seeing him just chilling out watching TV. They're all about yesterday's accident. Just as I thought, he must have known something about the scissor man. Yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he did. Maybe we would have found out something about the scissor man as well. But he's dead. A rather comfortable looking chair. Yeah, so comfortable in fact that uh, scissor man enjoyed it. This is really old TV. No remote control or anything. Yeah, look at it. That's a good old CRT, that beast. What's this? A note is stuck between the pages. We've discovered hint number six. Oh, cool. All right. Well, hint number six. Fair enough. Now, I'm not going to promise we're going to get all the hints because... Uh, they are kind of scattered all over the place and through the various playthroughs but you know we're gonna see what we can do i guess well that one's locked Ooh, is that something on the floor it's not it's just some weird shadow glitch i suppose all right well let's check this room i love oh oh really we're locked we're locked out Son of a bitch. Alright, well. Hopefully, Scissor Man's going to leave us alone for a little bit. 
Oh, we're out of time as well, apparently. That's ah, oh, but but oh no 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 no! Don't go back in. Don't 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 go. Fine. Well, apparently we're out of time. So I mean, I don't think there's a huge amount like left in this scenario. These scenarios, apart from the last one, they're not actually that big. Uh, that leads back down to there. Where does the other door go? Where indeed does this door go? Yeah, right. Yeah, we haven't had a good look in here yet, have we? And I like the way after Scissorman got savaged by the uh, uh, blanket here, he he did put it back for us. Which is very kind of the chap, to be honest. You know, he's keeping the place nice. What could we say? Uh, it's just a trash can. There's nothing useful in there. Well, that ain't no good. That's no good at all. A Bible. Apparently, his God didn't protect him. No. No, you, you, you'll find that that's quite common. Okay, so now we can go through there. Interesting. There's still this door here that we can't go through. Which is puzzling. So, can we search that? Just a trash can. That's not a trash can, though. Like, I can see it's not a trash can. You guys can see that's not a trash can. That's definitely not a trash can. But, anyway, guys, I am going to leave it there, actually. Just because um, I was thinking about leaving each scenario as one video. But that's not actually going to be possible, anyway. Because, um of how this game does the final scenario where it's actually pretty big to be honest so we're gonna leave it there and when we come back we're gonna finish off uh, exploring rick's house and hopefully find a statue so thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time